Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today I have a Ross and Dollar Tree haul. Both of them are very small, so I decided to combine them. What is this? What's happening? Oh, wait a minute. All right. So, from Ross, I decided to get this, and I think I'm going to take it into my office. <clears throat> so that when I get frustrated, I can just take it out right there in my office. Heavy resistance tube. So, yeah. We'll see if that works. Uh, you know that I am obsessed with basketball season. So, of course, I found this and had to get it. It's a little basketball mug. Adorable. It was $3.99. Very cute. I was looking in the Halloween section, and I was like, oh, that's cute. Yeah, blah, 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 whatever. I looked down in my cart. Apparently, he jumped in my cart, and I wasn't even paying attention. <clears throat> but... I told him he could stay and go home with me because, as you've heard me say, I do my living room in mummies, and they're not scary mummies. They're cute mummies. I do cute. I do very cute Halloween all over the house. I have issues. Oh, that's not new news, is it? <laughs> so, yeah, $7.99. I said, yes, yes, you can... You can come home with me, you little precious hunk of meat. Hunk of stuffing. Ah. Okay. Now see how cute he is? Just sitting over there like a good boy. All right. Then I got a medium because I have the small. It's, a, it's tight. So I got a medium one in a men's. Just do it, Nike. It's just a little bit more. Gives me a little bit more breathing room. I don't like to wear tight clothing. So, I got that for like $16.99. Alright, so that was it for Ross. For the Dollar Tree, I thought, you know what? The kids, I can hear them in the hall. They're all having orientation. They're getting ready for classes. Everybody's giggling and laughing, having a great time. I'm prepared for y'all's germs, okay? When you get me sick and I need some tissues while I'm driving in my car, this will fit in the cup holder. And I have something to wipe my nose with because you got me sick. Because y'all don't know how to wash your hands. <laughs> they do. They're good kids. Alright. Then I got this. Why did I get this? Uh, oh, yes. Because not only is it a neck, but it's also a chest. Which is great. Because, you know, when we get older and we sleep on our sides and you wake up and you have those wrinkles. I'm always putting lotion on there to get rid of those. Um, it's a neck and chest sheet mask. Fabulous. I only grabbed one. Not real sure why I did that. Probably because I have 72 others that I have to use. That's probably what that was about. My total at the dollar store was... $14.33. I got these for my gym bag. They are that soft floral spray that I have, but it's in a white, and I figured those would be great to wipe down like my neck and everywhere where I'm sweating, right, after I work out at the gym. So they're going in my gym bag. Then I got some more of that aluminum-free 
sulfate free cruelty free vegan sulfate free paraben free and dye free all natural nourishing deodorant so the last one i got was moisturizing this one is nourishing and this one is coconut and shea butter i hate when you take the top off and it goes back down and it goes into the deodorant but luckily they have the protectant on it There we go. Hmm. Oh, well. That is nourishing. I wonder if it's going to... You can feel it. You can feel that it's there, but it's not sticky. So, smells great. I mean, I'm just going to keep picking these up every time I go. I might amass a great collection of them, but, you know, obsessions, okay? Can't ever run out of good thing now. I got this to take to the office because the puppy likes to kiss me in the morning and he gets his little nose prints and dirt and stuff on my glasses and I get to work and I'm like trying to find a spot where there's not a dirt smear to see. So yeah, I got some eyeglass cleaner. Don't know if it really works. We could try it now. And a cloth to take to work. Then, well, I thought that I would try and find some of those Amos brand candies that I saw at Five Below. I've heard they're at Dollar Tree, but I don't go down the candy aisle anymore. So I made sure to check out the Halloween section candy, which we might we might visit that again mm. and then i went down the candy aisle and i found amos i did find the amos brand i didn't find any peelables these are 4d gummy blocks by amos 100 calories two grams protein that's all we need to know that's all we need to know don't need to know anything about any sugar then I found Amos Gluten-Free Fruit Gummies Pineapple Burst. These have like a jelly on the inside that bursts as you eat it. I need some more of this Amos. I mean, I don't, but I do. Okay. Then I found, I always called it Goetz's. Someone said it's German. It's pronounced Gertz. If you know... Put the pronunciation down in the comments so I can know really how to say this word. But Gertz is, is my favorite caramel candy. And they have limited edition pumpkin spice for 130 calories and 1 gram of protein. We don't need to know about carbs and sugar and all that. No, we just need to know that there's protein. And then I picked up some Amos. This is what started the whole Amos thing. I was going down the, the Halloween aisle, seeing if they had anything that I needed. I picked up Spooky Treat Gummy Mix. It has a witch, ghosts, and pumpkins. There's 25 individually wrapped pieces in here. Maybe I will take these to work. And the kids at work can help me with that. And then I just got some band-aids. I thought they were cute. And that's all I got from the dollar store. So, that's today's haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. Have you tried Amos Candy? Has it been around for a while? Didn't I just read it was like... 1985 or something, or am I thinking of something else? I don't know, but if you know anything about this Amos candy, if you know um, where you found it, let's see if it says distributed by Amos Sweets, 
Las Vegas, Nevada, made in China. Okay. Best Buy, four fifteen twenty six. I got plenty of time to chomp chomp on those. Shall we try them now? I think so. Let's do that. All right, we're going to start off with Amos 4D Fruit Gummy Pineapple Burst. And I'll let you know if it's worth going to get it. If you have tried these, let me know in the comments below. If you want to try them or you're going hunting for them, let me know that as well. I love to hear your feedback. Absolutely precious little pineapple. You can see that little thing in the middle there. Nothing to write home about as far as the middle bursting out. Didn't really feel that. Tastes great though. Alright, have these open. Just looks like a normal caramel cream. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm-hmm. Let me go finish it, and I'll be right back. All right, so that was an absolute pleasure. And very strong hints of cinnamon and ginger in there. And then the caramel. Good golly, Molly. That's the best. Really good. We're going to get another one of those. At least one more. These Gertz um, usually are just caramel with the cream center. In my fat days, I used to lay in my bed and I'd get like three, four, five packs of them and put them in my little jar of candy by my bed and sit and eat those and like salty popcorn to have sweet and salt. All right, now we're going to try the Amos Spooky Treat Gummy Mix. And I have a witch. And it even has a little witch on the package. And then there's a, a, a witch embedded in the candy. Grape. Okay. Good grape flavor. These say you can actually play with them and build. I don't think I'll be doing that, but you just never know. Never. No. We have apple, blueberry, strawberry, and lemon. I want that apple. It should be the green. Mm-hmm. Very cute. It has the holes underneath on the bottom so that you can connect another one to it. M much more firm than the other ones. I guess so, because if you want to build with them, they need to be a little more firm. Tastes like green apple. Love green apple. Green apple and caramel. Good golly molly. All right, that's it for the taste test. I'll be right back. <laughs> 